So this tweet popped up on my thing. It has 20 million views. Your fashion and efforts are at the point of no return. Fashion subjective though. It is subjective to some extent. Right now you're fit, go. Number nine, spring summer 06, sticky shorts, uh, whatever, LGB, fur hoodie, and. Hey, what about you, what you got on? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, what's that here? I got Dirk Bickenberg's on the feet. And he's smoking cigs too. The six was nine. I got LGB, oh, Vivian Westwood, Hysteric, and Mihara Yasuhiro, and Chrome. The Vivian, the Vivian too? Yeah. What are the, the band-aids represent? What are they? Are they Margella or what? And the band-aid uh, on the nose. They just, they just, oh, Walgreens, man. That's the wave. Initial first thoughts on that. I let everybody just do that. Okay, those people, fashion is, is their award. Do you think they like are models that just take home the clothes or like they're out there trying to have the best fit every day? No, they, they would love to be a Balenciaga model. But the thing is, they be dropping money on these yeah. pieces. So these are expensive garments. And Thousands of dollars on mm. clothes. Now, I'd be curious at like, what do you do to afford this? Right? right? Because you could be in the fashion, but sometimes you don't have the money to afford these avant-garde pieces that from a drop that was years ago go from this designer that nobody knows about. The culture is, if you know, you know. Is their personality clothes or do they? Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, they hang out and talk about clothes. They probably design their own stuff. Like, that's what they do. That's the same way with people with sports. Like, there could be a guy that just wants to train MMA every day, all of his life, be competitive, go to Iceland to go to the biggest MMA gym, go to California to be part of that gym. It's like a meter, like a fashion yeah. meter. On the left, you got like, okay, I'm just gonna go to Walmart and Target, get whatever that looks good. You got the hype beast that'll just get the trendy stuff. Then you got the people that LG G B This is raccoon. all the way if broke six the was meter. nine, I was like, what brand? Yeah. Le Grand Blue, of course, the Dirk. Dirk didn't bark. <laughs> Dingle bark. <laughs> yeah. Doug Dumadome, Dirk Birkenberg. <laughs> okay. Rack for those boots. If six was nine, <laughs> six rare. <was> <laughs> What are these names? He also name dropped it like if six was nine. <laughs> Dirk Brock like if he knew what it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm the same way with oh we got the Rick Owens on. That's because I know exactly where Rick Owens are. If I said Rick Owens to my parents, huh? Why don't you just get shoes from Target? I bet to my parents, I'm these people. That was like me wearing all the different colorful shoes in high school. My parents were like, just let them rock. <laughs> LGB. Yep. <laughs> they want someone to come up to them and ask him, what are you rocking today? Oh, they love this. Oh, they love this. <laughs> oh, if six was nine? Oh, yeah, let me tell you right now. I got all And the bandaid on the nose. Thoughts on that? They popped that up there, too. Wait a minute. That kind of did something. New York Fashion Week. Ready on fit. What you got? Uh -huh. So we got the stair paint glasses on to start. Stair paint sweater. Uh, stair paint denim. And stair paint shoes. Okay, and what's the IG? What's the IG? Stair Payton, S T E R. Oh, it's his. Oh, it's his friend. <laughs> oh, oh. How y'all feel about the interviewer's uh, fit? Holy shit. Oh, looks like the front of the football mask. To be fair, Stair Payton sounds like a high end fashion brand. I believed it. Didn't he pop up the price? How much was it? Yeah, I was like, oh. You but start it's start your own brand and you're already charging 300 I I want to start doing that. Strawberry Park. I'm going to start upcharging y'all motherfuckers. 4000 4000 for the SP fucking band aid. For the band aid. We should make band aids for fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we drop a first aid kit. Come on now. <laughs> Ain't no YouTubers ever drop a first aid kit. Kid. You see kids on IG? <laughs> oh, the fire. Why the don't we do that? Hey, New York Fashion Week, break down your fit, go. Shit, I'm wearing all my brand new bands. You be part of the Justice League. <laughs> These are my Vernum Doom boots. Just dropped those recently. The rest of this is all unreleased. Like, I made this right before I oh, stepped like out. Right now. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. This is a moto jacket I'm going to be releasing soon. Some skinnies I just made. Um, this is a new hoodie. Just made that. Damn. These glasses, I was supposed to drop these today, uh -huh. but I'm outside right now, so I may go ahead and drop these tomorrow. All right, where can we find you at? At Hubane underscore. Hey, you got some followers. Damn. I do feel like fashion has took a turn a little. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. Like, <laughs> you see a lot of different outfits now. I think people just feel more free nowadays. You know what? I'm going to go out and wear, you know, nipple tassels. I mean, when most things have been done before, that's how you got the Hubane mud boots. I, and I actually found a, a hoodie brand on Instagram where they have eight sleeves. <laughs> what? And then people are like, Lord, I need that. Did you guys see the new Misfit shoes? In God's green earth. It's tripping me out. This is not for real. And they already went crazy with the with the Rocket the red, Boy boots. The red, the red boots went crazy. Those red boots had a, the internet on it in a chokehold for two weeks. You have those boots and you take a picture. I want to share that with my friend. Yeah. Wait, this is real? There's an actual human wearing the product? Like, it has the same effect as the hoverboards did. Oh, or, yeah. You know, the Lil Nas X shoe. Yeah. Like, and it's mob yeah, mentality, yeah. too. These people think it's cool. Like, yep. Well, okay, I think the red boots are cool, too. I kind of want that. But now, if everybody hates it, like, I want to be the one that likes it, though. When the Lil Nas <laughs> Satan shoes came out, we saw them in person. We, we had a, made a video. Yeah. Just seeing them in person, I was like... Everybody
everybody around the world is going crazy over it, can't even get their hands on it. And I'm holding it. No, hey, these guys, they eat, sleep, and breathe fashion. Everyone picks an identity. I'm an accountant. I'm a YouTuber. I wonder how much of them is like actually is that. You always said don't judge a book by its cover, but you can still understand a person some way based off what they wear and how they act just because that's the external identity part. They see these visions of these grungy people. I want to be like that, so I'm going to do everything that looks. You have to be influenced by something. They're not trying it because they're doing it. Let's say a grungy rock star in New York high fashion rock boy, whatever. And I'm like, okay, let me get the boots. Let me get the ripped jeans. Let me get the bandit on the nose and the cigarette. And I do it. But that's not me. I'm just playing a role that I want to be because I think it looks cool. Yeah, you're right. But that's how anything works. And you can tell who's authentic and who's not in a way. I can't go dress like this. And then next week I start dressing like that. And people you aren't going to take me serious because first off, they're going to say, oh, you're a poser. That's not how you really dress. Or do I have to ease into it? Do but I have to get into that culture, that subculture of fashion? The conclusion I'm coming to you can fake an identity you can fake a character I see a cool rock star and I want to look like him all right I'll put on the tassels whatever but I won't believe that I'm really the rock star I'm wearing the rock stars uniform but if you do it long enough you'll start to convince yourself that you are the rock star and then you become like these two fashion guys where I think they really believe I don't even think there's a time frame I think if you go into it thinking you already are you can feel that valid like right then yeah and maybe it started off as oh I'm into hype beast things I'm into wearing yeah. stuff and putting different things things on and changing my appearance and then it evolved into this you know mm -hmm. someone that dresses well like they probably didn't dress well like years before we are kind of just a, a culmination of different things that we like we get inspiration like i like when ryan wears a dress pants i think that looks cool i never tried that it might be out of my comfort zone but the moment i put that on and i think i look good in a hoodie so i put a hoodie on and then you create your own little style within something you've been influenced by mm -hmm. and then i like the concept of everyone is playing a character actively i have grown into the character I'm in some people are playing a character and don't even realize it and can change whenever they want it requires you to really believe that you're this person we would categorize ourselves as we're youtubers it's because I really genuinely believe that I am I act like I am like yeah. I don't feel like I'm playing a character yet I am and then on the other side you also remember the times when you weren't a YouTuber. And then I was a soccer guy. I'll see people who are attempting to be a character that I don't think they believe that they are. Are you really into fashion or are you just trying to look cool and you just want to look like the people you see on these magazines or websites? Like that's not I, really you. There are cool eclectic fashion TikToks on this guy's page. And I was like, damn, that's a cool ass fit. That's a cool ass person. And I believe it. I think there's an unspoken riz to it where it's like, either yeah. you come across authentic or you don't. And you can kind of tell, I guess. If you like to take photos, right? That's your thing. You like to take videos, or whatever. You would almost equate that to like your career. When it comes to fashion, it doesn't necessarily have to work that way. You can be a big fashion guy like these two people and not be like a fashion designer. But is it when you're at that level, you are trying to get into fashion design. If I'm wearing this type of stuff, I know so much about fashion and the cut and sew about things. Am I trying to be a fashion designer? Am I on that route? Or is this just a hobby? When there's raves and things like that and you go, it's once a year or whatever. You go dressed in the occasion. Mm -hmm. This is New York Fashion Week. So is it something where, oh, what am I going to wear to Fashion Week? If you go to Disneyland, you're going to wear the Mickey ears. Like, you know what I mean? When he goes to work, whatever the job is, if it's not fashion related, is he wearing that? Dude's second jacket is tough, but his hair is pissing me off. They look homeless, but the jacket goes hard. The concept I'm attached to is like, are y'all really that? Or are you just trying? Trying to look grungy. Yeah, nothing matters. Yeah. Like, is that really you, bro? Like, when, not, yeah, when all yeah. the lights cut out and it's just you in your room, is that how you, you behave? Here's what irritates me. It's when rappers do this thing. So, like, I think people like Lil Uzi pioneered the emo goth. Miss, miss somebody has to do it, right? And then all these clones, they use the emojis, the bat emoji, and Wait, the stars. And that's that sixth sense of it doesn't feel authentic when they do it. I'm yeah. like, dude, stop. I'm the vampire emo. Vampire. That's not you, dude. There's a different way to go about it. Like you don't want to copy and paste somebody. There's a fine line between inspiration and just kind of blatantly taking someone's swag. Then you're better off just taking pieces of what you like, trying it out. If you feel confident, then that's a little piece of you now. Like recording logos. Where did they even decide this is what I want to be? The Marilyn Manson. Was he just stealing from somebody else? Mm -hmm. Everybody just stealing from everybody? Yeah, people are just products of what they mm -hmm. see. They're looking away from the thing, all blurry and shit. <laughs> And I'm like, cut the crack. I'd have a hard time coming on here acting. But you could though. We could all put on a different voice, a different mm -mm. approach. We could literally do whatever we wanted. We could scream all our responses right now. Or we could be the cool guy. Yeah. Ha -ha. No that's shit crazy, man. Uh -huh. I'm about to be wearing F6 was nine. 3,000 followers. Oh, they don't even be like that. Strawberry Park way bigger than F6 was nine. You need to get some Strawberry Park.